answer that by quoting a truly great myeloma scientist, Larry Boise, who says that dexamethasone is like bacon. It goes well with everything. And that's true. Uh, dexamethasone is a drug that directly targets myeloma cells. It's an anti-inflammatory steroid, which is, uh, is a mimic of a hormone that exists in our bodies to dampen inflammation. And dexamethasone is a very potent mimic of that process. The benefits of dexamethasone are that it kills myeloma cells directly. Uh, so, it, And when patients develop resistance, it's often only partial resistance. So the continued combination of dexamethasone with other agents seems to be a beneficial thing to do. Uh, it's often combined, for example, with Revimid or other imids, um, with proteasome inhibitors. And in, in each of those cases, it has been shown that the addition of uh, dexamethasone um, offers a more potent response than um, in cases where dexamethasone or other steroids are emitted. The other advantage of dexamethasone is that although it has a lot of toxicities, and I'm sure patients will know what I'm talking about here, um, they're non-overlapping with most of the toxicities that are caused by the chemotherapy drugs or Valcade or the imids such as Revimid or pomalidomide. That means that Although you're getting toxicities, they're not the same ones as caused by those drugs, and that allows us to give the two drugs together because we're not adding to, to, to cause a super toxicity by com combining the drugs. The downside of steroids are that they have a lot of side effects, and I won't go through listing them here. Uh, you should do that with your physician or go online. Um, but it's important with patients who are going through a lot of treatment to try and avoid those side effects, and it's really critical, I think, to get the the dose of dexamethasone or prednisone correct. There was a very important study that was done uh, by Vincent Rajkumar at the Mayo Clinic that showed that less is more, that patients that are over the age of 70 actually do better when you give them less dexamethasone rather than the full dose that they had previously been receiving. And although that was one study and two different doses that were tested. I think the general principle works across the range of myeloma patients and we need to tailor the dexamethasone finely according to uh, the, the, the robustness, the fitness, or the frailty of the patient and to their prior treatment history and the current treatment. And so whilst dexamethasone is a useful drug to combine with these other drugs, we really need to do it at the right dose for the right patient.